Hi, Larry Stewart here with 4constructionpros.com at World of Concrete 2018 in Las Vegas. This is John Bohm. Uh, we're talking about the 1644 Telehander, our new heavy lift machine. Yeah. JLG is just getting into this uh, heavy lift business. Talk a little bit about this machine and where it sits in that heavy lift line. That's right, Larry. Thanks. Um, we're introducing, or we have introduced uh, in February last year, uh, a new family of telehandlers for JLG, uh, which really launched us into the high capacity market. Uh, we launched that with a 1644 and a 1732. So one machine has 16,000 pounds capacity with uh, 44 feet of lift height and then a 17,000 pound machine with 32 feet of lift height. Uh, what, uh, what would you say distinguishes a machine like this from a physical standpoint uh, from those, those pick and place machines? The first is a pick and place machine typically has a longer boom. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it has outriggers. Conversely, when you have a pick and carry machine, it typically doesn't have outriggers. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to set your outriggers to get full capacity on tires. Okay. These machines have full capacity on tires where there's no delay in your ability to pick the load and carry it uh, whatever distance you need and, and place the load. Uh, that's truly what a pick and carry has. And okay. obviously capacity. Mm -hmm. They have much, much higher capacity. Not as much boom, but much more capacity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How about the, the JLG line? What would you, would you say distinguishes it among machines in this 13,000 plus category? The machines themselves are unique in a, in, in a few ways. Uh, first of all, some of the some of the accessories or options we have a very unique option that we actually introduced in these machines in, in, in February last year it's called the smart load technology mm -hmm. uh, smart smart load technology is uh, truly unique and it is a three-part comprehensive package that really what it does is it pulls attachment recognition LSI and LMIS mixes those three things together as a package to give the operator more confidence and truly the rental company or machine owner, it gives them a peace of mind to know that there's a very small chance, if any, that the machine will be overloaded okay. or they won't have to deal with the consequences of being overloaded. And there's lots of other new, unique parts of this machine. Uh, Oh, let me, let me before yeah, we go please, on, yeah, that, that LMI you mentioned, yeah, so, LSI, so, or, yep. uh, so the, smart load, the, 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 the yeah. smart load technology, does that actually prevent the machine from lifting uh, a weight that's uh, a load that's going to get it, into it? It absolutely a, does. Okay. It absolutely does. The first thing it'll do is now when an operator brings the machine uh, to an attachment, to a high capacity attachment, mm -hmm. it recognizes the attachment and it will display the appropriate load chart. Okay. So step one. Yeah. Uh, step two, LSI and LMIS work together to uh, not allow the load chart boundaries to be violated. Okay. It absolutely will stop. Yeah, that's a that's pretty yeah. amazing right there. Yeah, you know, when you see all the loads out there that get picked yeah. up, when no one really knows exactly what that load is, having a machine that that'll do that for you has sure. uh, got to be a pretty significant safety advantage. Yeah. Yeah. What about boom structure and that sort of thing? Are these are these booms different from a from a higher a taller machine? Absolutely. Yeah. That's, okay. that's a good question, Larry. They absolutely are. Um, of course, it's a two-section, a three-section boom. Mm -hmm. uh, they are very robust. If uh, we brought the boom down and you saw the, the boom head itself and the coupler, very, very large, uh, more robust than what you would typically see on a longer boom. Also, with our two high-capacity machines, there's no chains. Oh. The booms aren't synchronized by use of chain. Oh. Our two-section boom and three-section boom, they're actually synchronized with a cylinder only. So all you have is a telescope cylinder. Even on the three-section boom, it's a dual-phase cylinder that pushes at both ends. We've put a lot of attention into the cabins. Uh, it's, a, it's the largest cabin that we offer on any telehandler today mm -hmm. uh, through JLG. Uh, it maximizes your overall visibility and your operator comfort. It's also very important to know that these high-capacity machines, they're not your typical hydrostatic or uh, power shift transmission. These are hydrostatic machines. Okay. They're hydrostatic forward and reverse. It's a two-speed stop-to-shift hydrostatic transmission. One, one feature I, I like to point out uh, is the boom soft stop. It's, not a, it's, a, it's a feature. It's a, a standard feature for the machines. Yeah. So it's, it's very uh, similar to, um, to an AWP, to a boom lift. Yeah. When the machine reaches boom in, boom out, boom up and down, reaches a threshold, uh, or boom in and out, it will actually slow down to seat the load. It'll slow down and softly set your load. 
whether you're uh, in any, you know, up, down, in, and out. Yeah. So that when you're handling heavy, large loads, that you don't have that typical, mm. you know, jerkiness when it comes to full stroke on the cylinder.